He called the cryptocurrency a fraud back in September of last year, but he later said he regretted his choice of words. A year ago, he said he wasn't going to talk about Bitcoin anymore, but then yesterday at an Axios conference in L.A., he was asked about changing his mind on Bitcoin. I never changed what I said. I just regret having said it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the spokesman against Bitcoin. I don't really get that's the point, okay? <laughs> and blockchain is real, it's technology, but Bitcoin is not the same as a fiat currency. All right, he speaks his mind, he does very openly. A side note for you, today is the 10th anniversary of Bitcoin. Wow, it's only been 10 years. Um, looks like right now, $6,258. Did we bleep out damn? No. Okay, you said I don't give a damn? No, I don't give a okay. something else. Okay. I think Are if you he to thinks it's still it? safe yeah. to ignore damn. it, I think it's fine. You but, use the dog. But I think he's talking about blockchain. And I think that's what most companies are talking I still, about. I think that's so. the safe, like, well, sure, right. if this thing becomes a thing, we have to be involved. Right. But I don't know. Right. Use the dog. You do it. The Shih Tzu? Yes. Thank there you. you. Okay. You're welcome. Jamie Dimon oh, also... Okay. You uncomfortable, Mike? Mike's okay. Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Jamie Dimon also weighed in on the trade war with China that he has suggested should be called just a trade skirmish. Yeah. A trade war is that people stop trading with each other and that they immediately change supply lines, uh, and that will, that will rattle the global economy. There's no question about that. That is a lot of movement around the world. Uh, then you can have foreign part, trading partners make, taking actions, and there I think you basically can offset, uh, you know, you, you, it could cause a recession. Uh, Jimmy, you but it's not a war, okay? A war is people, you know, pick up guns and people die. Hmm. All right, that's an interesting point, but what he described as a trade war is something that could be down the road if you actually see people picking up cha supply chains and moving things. And I think, Surat, that's probably the bigger market concern at this point is we thought we'd have a resolution at this point, we don't. Right, it was the uncertainty that kind of people baked in, said, well, you know, we, we resolved the NAFTA issues. Mm -hmm. So the China issue, and I think what people are going to be really focused on is after elections. Are we going to get some type of resolution there? I, I just read this week that Mexico says it won't sign the new NAFTA unless we raise our tariffs on steel um, and aluminum, and that short of that, they're not coming to the table to sign it. Is there a chance that the new NAFTA blows up? I think there's always a chance there, but I think the market's really more focused on what's going on with China at this point, because that's really, as we've talked about manufacturing, we've talked about companies talking about uncertainty, about hiring, and how are we going to go back with intellectual property? I think that's where the technology companies are also looking to see. And if China decides to do something, then that's really going to affect, quote, the S&P earnings that we're looking at.